All right, guys, I'm out here in the forest, out in the timber, clearing horse trails. Got my chainsaw and everything, and I'm about done. But I came across this um, tree, so I'm like in here, breaking branches and moving it out of the way, and this is what I see. Do you guys see him? Do you see him? He's not the biggest one I've seen out here, but... I'm just like... He's not even like really bothered. He just started like moving out of the way and I was like, holy crap. Just had a heart attack. But um, he seems pretty unfazed. So um, I guess I'll keep moving. Sorry, sorry to bother you. I will leave this area alone. Phew. I haven't vlogged in a little while, so I'm out here today. I figured I'd give you guys some updates um, on what projects I've been doing. So. Yesterday, I actually went out into the forest out there and walked the whole timber um, making horse trails because I've been meaning to like just go out there and walk it so I can like cut branches out of the way and whatever and have just never gotten around to it um, until yesterday. I decided to do it. So I went out and did that yesterday. Um, and I actually think I've got a solid trail out there. I will just have to remember how I routed it so that I can actually like beat a trail into the weeds and stuff. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. Saw some snakes, saw a lot of bees. Um, that was about it, to be honest. Um, some down fence, but um, it was, only, it was only like one section of fence, of old fence, that I was able to just kind of go around. Um, but today, I'm not really done a whole lot. Um, Grace is back over there in her normal pen. I think after two, three dust bath, three dust baths with that lice dust really helped her um, because I haven't seen any like crawling on her. Like they're still obviously on her hair because like they won't detach from her hair so that'll obviously have to wait till her hair just falls out and it sheds out um but they don't look alive by any means so she's back over there in her own pen um I did put her in the dog pen yesterday to just eat grass um because the more grass she eats the less hay that it's gonna cost me to feed her so um so there's that um I don't know if you've actually seen the whole I think I've shown it the whole um, section where the shingle pile was and right now I'm standing where the dry lot used to be this was the borders dry lot and I'm gonna start um, kind of putting my fence back up I'm digging the first post hole right now um, and I'm gonna put this dry lot back up at some point I think I'm gonna actually instead of doing this just one big lot I'm gonna do like three small lots so that I can start accepting clients again and I have somewhere to put their horses um, that isn't like just in with my horses. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do like three small pens. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's about it. Okay, so I did tie up Dixie and Dolly because I am going to try to work with Dolly um today at least just a little bit i just want to kind of see what she's got um so i'm gonna bring her down to the round pin and i'd like to see her lunge um she is broke so she should know how to do all of this i don't know when the last time she's done it is but i'd like to see her lunge and i would like to saddle her and just see what she's got hopefully it'll be a piece of cake and we can move on but We'll see, we'll see. All right, just got done with my short session with Dolly. So stay tuned for that video. Um, I guess I don't know if it'll be up before or after this one, but um, keep an eye out for it. Um, I only spent about a half an hour with her, just 
since it was my first time getting her out and working with her, I don't want to overwhelm her. So I like to keep those first sessions around a half an hour or so. Um, and then I let her eat grass in the lawn afterwards as a little reward. Um, but overall, she actually did better than I expected. Minimal attitude. And she wasn't very buddy sour. <laughs> Are you thirsty? <laughs> She's like got her nostrils flared. Um, but she did pretty good. Um, she was a little rough at the lunging to begin with, but she picked it back up um, pretty well. So, so yeah, um, now I'm probably going to keep working on these corner posts. I got these three in before I went in any orange. Here's this corner. Um, hopefully that'll work. Is it? Oh, they're a little off center. Not bad though. Um, so I got this. I think I'm going to go do that corner now, um, and take out this post. That's pretty much useless because it's completely leaned in, but you take this guy out. Yeah. Let's just pull her out. Come on. Here we go. There's that one. Um, and then I'll, yeah, put three more over here. Good girl. Slow little jugs. Always in the back. Slow little horse. you guys I just had one of those power naps that like after I woke up I was like what time is it like oh my god how, how long have I been asleep and then I look at my clock and I've been asleep for like maybe an hour <laughs> and yeah it just felt so long <sighs> just went on a little bit of a trail ride um this morning and a little bit of a trail it was like a three or four hour trail ride um but 
now that I'm home, I can't waste the good weather, so I'm going to go back outside and see. I've got a couple things I want to work on. I either want to work on putting the dry lap back up um, because I've gotten some of the corner braces in, or I want to work on getting some saddle racks up in the tack room. I might work on cleaning out the tack room, um, or I can do both. I might be able to do both. But, um, yeah. Um, Sugar was really good on the trail ride, as usual. She's always really good on trail rides. Um, she gets so many compliments, even today. She got a lot of compliments on just, like, how good she is, how calm she is. She's just so easy-peasy, easygoing, just pokes along in the back. But, gosh, I don't, I don't know if I'll take her to many more this year. Um, if you watched my Meet My Horses video on Sugar, she's just so slow. She's so slow. <laughs> it's like agonizing. Um, love her. She is the best trail horse. I just wish she was faster because we were in the front for like 10 minutes. Um, at the beginning and then yeah, to the back we went and to the back we stayed. I'm like, I don't mind being in the back. There's nothing wrong with being in the back of a trail ride. It's just like you go to the trail ride and you want to chat with people and you want to like meet other people that you don't know um, and you're just pretty much stuck way in the back. And like Sugar's not even just like at the back. She's way behind the back. <laughs> like she has to trot the whole trail ride to keep up and I don't know why she's so slow. But at the horse ranch that I used to work at when I was younger, we also had horses like that, that just some were middle walkers, some were super slow, and they usually brought up the behind because they liked to be in the back. So that's sugar. And um, yeah, that's fine. It's just like, I like to have a horse that keeps up with the pace of the rest of the horses, you know, for like I said, I like to chat with people. And like, you can't really do that when you're half a mile behind everyone else because the horse walks so goddamn slow. But, um, yeah. All right, little update. I got that corner brace done. I mean, it's kind of done, I guess. Got that one installed. And then this is where the gate hole is going to go. There's going to be one gate right here. And so all the corner corners are in. I just need to brace them before putting up the wire. And then I even may, I don't know if I'll have to do it right away, but at some point may have to add another post and brace right there so that this doesn't spread that way. But we'll see. Um, and same with this one. So even brought back the fence line a little bit. Like you can see where the fence line used to be and it used to go around the bathtub. So it used to be kind of here. Now it's all the way in there and all the way back there which is fine. Uh, also moved the tent over here, the frame anyways. This is what the boarded horses you had as a shelter. And they used it to get out of the wind and rain, but I moved it here. I'm in the process of getting a new cover for it. Um, so once I get a new cover for it, I'll put that on and then I will put my hay under this so that my hay can stop just sitting on a pallet under a tarp um but yeah i didn't realize how ridiculously complicated it would be to get a new cover for that thing so if you guys have a canvas carport and you need a new cover for it i recommend not just ripping it off and burning it and just thinking that you'll just order a new cover for it because it's not that simple i've had to look for like months to figure out where i can get a new cover
Okay, I have been meaning to get the rest of my saddle wraps up for a while. So, ta-da. That one over there looks a little bit jank, like, with the plywood and stuff, but you know what? Don't look at it. Um, these ones down here look a little weird, too, because... I don't know if you can see that one. That one over there is the same style as these ones, but it's longer. I don't know why it like comes out of the wall farther. And then these two red ones are just completely different styles of racks than this one. You can probably tell on camera. But um, I'm kind of tempted to like even spray paint this one and the blue one red just to match um because yeah it was, so we have seven and i don't know if i have i think i might have seven saddles let's see the black one that one the other brown one maybe i only have six i don't know it don't matter got too many basically i also really need to clean everything in here so like if you guys want a separate video of like deep cleaning the tack room um i would totally do that i think i might do that anyways so stay tuned if you want to see that because i think i might i also need to deep clean all of my tack so um if you guys would be interested in doing like a sit down clean my tack q a style video let me know down below um, but, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna, like, sweep this out and try and put some of my stuff back, but I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog, and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the training videos lately of Dolly and Oakley, and, um, I'm really excited for those, so hopefully you guys are enjoying them, and if you have any questions about them or their training down below, let me know what your questions are, um, and yeah, hopefully we can get some weight put on Dixie soon and get her like just doing some stuff, whether I kind of would like to just pony her down the road, like with BB or something, or take her to a trail ride and just pony her along, like once she gets some weight on her, of course. But um, yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this short little update vlog type thing and I'll see you guys later.